Welcome back to Spiritfarer. Welcome back me as well. Oh boy, it's been kind of hard to go an entire week without playing this game. And sadly, I really don't have much time to play this tonight either, because what I streamed earlier ended up taking far too long, much longer than I expected, so we don't really have much more than like an hour, probably not even that, so let's just jump in and do a little bit, and I'm almost certainly gonna play more Spirit Fair either tomorrow or on Sunday. Hell, maybe even both. I don't know. We'll we'll have to see how invested I get. But let's at least do a little bit here. All right. So what what happened? What were we doing? I don't really remember. We are somewhere like on an island. I was going to disembark. Uh, did I already do this island? Green Halton Bay. Resources found. There's the wandering merchant. Ah! There's a spirit! Oh, interesting! Wait, so... Is is it like there are three resources... Resource spots to get maple logs, two to get raspberry, and one to get a spirit? And I didn't see the spirit one? Here we have like one sheep, one shrine, two rare chests, and one spirit. I see! Oh, that's cool. So you know, like what you have to find on each one. I wonder if it also shows you when they're replenished. Like, maybe now Maple Log and Raspberry are not available, but then eventually that'll, like, gray out again, and then we can go back and get more? I don't know, but let's let's see if we just disembark here. If this is somewhere... Go down? Oh, right. I'm inside. How do I even... How do I go out? There we go. I have to, like, re-remember all the controls. Let's see if we actually went here. I don't remember. Yeah, I did. Didn't I? Hello. Why did I forget my axe? Yeah, we did this. Oh, so... Ah, so it's the opposite. The, uh, the filled dot is showing this is available to harvest here. But then the empty ones are... You can find these here, but they're not available right now. So, like, the spirit on that other island, we can't get right now. We probably have to wait for that to spawn, or we need something specific in order to harvest it. Something like that. So, yeah. Nothing here. We could go here if we need maple logs and raspberry. Okay. I see. And I guess, like, the grayed out ones? Like, rare chest is... There is one we can get, but I haven't or something, because it's not grayed out. I don't know. But yeah, okay. Let's just go to the course dragon, I suppose, and we'll see what happens with this. Alright. Probably need to do some plant stuff. This linen should be harvestable, yeah. Uh, let's go for coffee, I guess. He could use some food. Oh, Sprout, I love rain so much. I could stay under it for days. Uh-oh. A little hug. Yeah. It's great. Uh... Yeah, things are happening. Hold on. Hold on! Oh, I can't go in? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything. Let me just check in here. Oh, I can't do this either. Alright, we have to complete this. Oh, this! I thought that might be it. Uh-oh. The, like, darkness and jellyfish have taken over this guy? Boss fight time? The dragon. I guess it's inevitable that it would be here. Following me always, even in this world. Our destinies, well, they're intertwined, are they not? Oh boy. Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks quite in pain. Doesn't it? The rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it? Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Ah! Uh, what happens if I fall down? Nothing? 
Okay, he's not gonna like try and fight me or anything. Shake me off. Oh, can't climb up there. So I guess it's a mining minigame, probably. Yeah. I just killed that guy. Oh, I see. And then we have to like jump across. What is that? Cake? What's that icon? Oh, crap. Oh, and you get quartz from this guy. Yeah, maybe I'm trying to hold that for too long. Maybe you don't need to hold it for as long as I am. Like, I guess that might be a fully powered strike. I keep trying to wait even longer than that to get even more. Well, it is kind of a boss fight, in a sense. A boss fight where you get materials. Oh, and you didn't even need that. We should try one of these, like, doing a half ass one, just to see if that gives me, like, less. That was still three in one swing. I'm not entirely sure what the, like, downside is. What the hell? Oh, I'm on the ship again. And now he's come to his senses? Incredible. Oh, I can't stand on him anymore. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we are ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Bye, dragon! Thanks for the quartz. I'm sure he'll be corrupted again, and then we can get more quartz. Oh? Oh, what? How about a little snack? How about a hug? Here, have a raspberry. Oh, thank you, I was quite hungry. Did we? What? What the? Oh, I see the mystery seeds. Wow. I thought it would be like a mystery. You just get like one random vegetable, but no, it's like you get tons of crap. That's kind of nice. Valuable, valuable rings and stuff like that. Yeah, not bad. I just watered the cat, as you do. Oh, already this is done? I'll just do the same thing again. I, I feel like I would expect us to need a lot of linen, so I'm, I'm gonna probably prioritize that more than anything else. We can cook some stuff. Is there anything I haven't cooked yet? Eel? Oh yeah, it says there, there's a new icon as well. An eel is a medium-sized fish that is both wavy and shiny, also a tad cold. Um, does that mean it's just gonna be like a medium-sized fish meal? I guess we have to try it, if it's actually gonna make something different. Yeah, let's see. They're sleeping. Alright, and... Oh, it's too dark to navigate. Alright. Well, honestly, I might just do some fishing then, until it's dawn. How did you get the UI? There we go, yeah. We haven't really had time to do much fishing. Oh, message in the bottle. There you go. Let's just check what that was. Uh... How did we... There we go. Brochure for Furugawa Tours. Oh, we can open it? Yeah, I think I read that. 
Message in a bottle. Ode to an axe. There we go. A lumberjack without an axe, crying and sobbing. Old trees aren't feeling the cuffing. Cutting? Cutting. We'll grow old, they said, laughing. I mean, yeah. I guess it's the guy that lost his axe wrote this and threw it in the water. I wonder if you can, like, give it back to him. We have one obol. Nothing else that's new, as far as I can see. Well, I don't think I've read that. Copper ore, a piece of unrefined malachite. Really? Is copper malachite? I've, I've heard the word malachite, but I didn't know what it was. A foundry could transform it into usable, into a usable copper ingot. Citrine. An odd substance that doesn't go on toast. I think I've read that. Yeah, okay. Let's do a bit more fishing. Another one? No, medium glim. Okay. I saw the M and thought it was message. Our eel is done. A squid? Yep, it's just grilled fish. Damn. Yeah, I was hoping that would be something unique. And I think I did squid, right? Did I cook squid? Do we have cooked meals? Wait, where, where are cooked meals? Yeah, squid skewer. I've done that. Yeah, I think I got a small glim bottle last time. And now we got a medium one. 250? I can't remember entirely. I guess I'll make some more coffee? How much coffee do I have? None? No. Oh, I have six. Never mind. I don't really need to waste those beans quite yet. Veggies, I guess, I should cook up. Or maybe some more coal. Just some carrots, maybe? Yeah, let's just do a full batch of carrots. We'll, we'll get more. What is that in the background? Is that the dragon? Oh, this one is fighting. Never mind, it's not. Black tiger shrimp. A shrimp? Was that feisty? Okay. Mackerel. Yeah, now we're getting some new types of fish. Time to go up, or get up. So after this fish, we'll ring the bell. Oh, well, never mind. One more. I wasn't paying attention. They can have a little bit of a sleep in. Yeah, this one is fighting too. Might be another shrimp. It's another eel. Alright. Made up for the one I lost. Uh, right. Wake them up. And let's set sail. So I guess we'll just go here for treasures and stuff. And everyone's just staying inside because it's raining. This guy should go outside, right? 
Rain really ruins a day, doesn't it? I was hungry as usual, so I did something about it. I went outside the boat and gathered some berries, but I went a little overboard. Nice. And then you can have a berry back, I guess. Or maybe I should give him... Like, squid uh, skewer or something. I want to find whatever he likes best, so... Let's try squid skewer. Delicious! I had a hankering for this. Maybe I already tried. I can't remember. But yeah, he just likes everything. There must be one thing that's, like, beyond everything else. He just loves it. Well... Okay, well... Well, bye. Stella, I'm sure you remember my old sewing machine. It was a diva with gold lettering and a manual wheel. You know I've always been into textiles. Well, a few years ago, I went to a museum which had tons of different sorts of fabric crafting machines. And I couldn't help but notice that you can build a loom on this ship. This could be a great opportunity for me to teach you a few tricks. And I'm quite sure you'll need thread and fabric soon. So you should definitely add a loom to this boat. The resources for it should be simple to find. Just check in your blueprint table. Yeah, I've, I've been trying. I've got that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. You're hungry for a hug. I'm like training them. I'm hugging them and then giving them food, so they'll always know. It'll become like a Pavlovian response. As soon as I hug them, they'll be hungry. Yeah, you can have some coffee. Oh, there we go. At least someone is happy. I'll take a cup of coffee anytime, any day. What's that? Make one spirit reach the ecstatic mood at least once. There we go. Ecstatic. Harvest's fiber. Oh, I see! Ah, mood perk! I see, so if she's neutral, she shops for fibers, and then you can get fibers. If she's happy, she sh shops for threads, then she can use the loom, and then she will harvest fiber for me. As long as they're, like, very happy. Ah! And then, er? We don't know. I guess you have to, like, get to that point to find out what they actually, uh, will do. Yeah, so he'll repair buildings on the boat. I didn't even know they needed repairs. I mean, I've seen him do it, but I thought it was just for show. He will harvest wood and he will make planks. Okay. Ah, come on. Yeah, if you can harvest linen, couldn't you also wa water the plants? That would be nice. Maybe someone else will do that. Oh, the food is done as well. Nothing major. Just grid grilled veggies, right? Yeah. Grilled veggies. And black tiger shrimp. The black tiger shrimp is the queen of all shrimps. Medium in size, this fabulous crustacean is a nasty fighter. And the mackerel. The mackerel might be a medium-sized fish, but it's too commercial for me. Someone's a hipster. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll do this. That should make some like Shellfish kind of thing? Yeah, alright. Let's set sail again. So, where are we even going? What was the... Oh, right. Hold on. Let's check what we needed for a loom. Field, garden, kitchen, loom. Oh, we can just make it. 
Ah, we needed quartz and we like got a ton of it. I mean, I think even before the dragon, I probably had enough. But yeah, let's add a loom like over here, I guess. Or we should make it like up here where she is. So she, so she has a, a quick access to it. Hmm. Let me try something. Can I, if I just like move these a little bit. Is it possible to move this one over here and then have this one here? Yeah, okay, let's do that. And then this house cannot go on top here. Too bad. Oh, I see. It, like, replaces it. Ah, uh, maybe it, maybe there was no point in doing this. Wait, how, how big was the loom? Can the loom fit on top of that? Then it would be perfect. Oh, it can! Yeah, okay, let's do that. Loom here. And then... We'll just do her house there and guest house here. Or maybe her house on top of this? Nah. Let's do it here, for now. And then, what else? Loom. Foundry, we need oak planks. Which we probably need a sawmill for. Yeah, so we need linen thread. 20 of it, then we can make the sawmill. Then 10 planks, and we can make the foundry. Okay. All right. This loom looks fantastic. Don't be scared. It's in perfect working order. Let me show you how it works. You put fiber inside and then you spin. You just have to make sure you hit the target. Oh, I see. So like, time it there. Click now. And then click now. Oh, I just clicked. So I didn't read that. See? Pretty easy, right? Now you try it. Try it with his fiber. Thanks. I, I think I probably should have taken the fiber she, like, grants you or, uh, what's it called? Proposes to you. Offers. Offers to you. Mm. Got some fiber I bought. Yeah. I, I think that's, that she probably doesn't weave it into the thread, so mm. I'll just say yes. I want that. Yeah, we have a lot of it. So we add, we can add up to 50, oh my god. Well, let's not add all of it, but how much did we need? 20? Let's do like 25 or something. So we have a little bit left over. And we like hold it down? Yeah. I see, good job. There's a little bit of leniency as well. I was kind of slow on one of them, but it was still good. And you can just, like, let go and then repress the button instantly. You don't have to wait for it to go back. So, it's pretty easy. Oh my god, I'm getting so much! Holy crap! Well, that's good. It's not just a one-to-one. -one. You actually get more thread per, per linen fiber. I mean, I loaded it up. I'll just do all that was loaded. Maybe it'll be like 75? Se 72? 72? What do you mean? Two cloths? Wait, did I like... Did I use more than I had? I, I don't even know. See, it's not that hard. Yeah, it should have been 75. That would have made sense. Because then I would have gotten three per, per linen fiber. But something was wrong. Did I fail one? Or like, miss one and I only got two? I, I don't know. See, it's not that hard. The machine does all the work. You just have to flow with it. And that's what makes it makes this so soothing. The rhythm, the sounds, the feel of it. Utterly satisfying. I'll probably give it a go, uh, give a go at it myself when you don't need it, but don't worry about the materials. I'll manage. Yeah, you should, you should do that. Get me some linen. Oh, didn't mean to go here, but I guess we might as well water. Yeah, so now we can just instantly make a sawmill as well. I should probably, like, set a course for something, like a, a cache or whatever, just so we're doing something with the day even though there's so much to do on the ship. 
Now let's just like go over here. Oh, shrimp cocktail in the oven. Glass and everything. Ah, uh, yeah, there's kind of nothing I really want to cook at this point. Wasn't this something? Let's do a couple of these, because I have so many raspberries. These were like the... whatever, the dessert thing. Oh, there's a serious lack of power tools in here. Maybe that sawmill I was talking about? Yeah, that would work. Oh, that doesn't, like, become a quest? Yeah, sawmill. Oh my god, it's big. Oh. Uh, oh, that looks super ugly. I don't really want that. I do like how it, like, adjusts the, uh, the buildings. You have, like, rooftops on them when they're not taking up too much space. Yeah, man. Maybe... Oh, I think we can, we can just, like, replace these. Hold on. If we just move these... Have this one here, and this one here. Then I think we can, like, have the sawmill... Ah, no, it needs one more, I see. I mean, sure, let's, let's do that. It doesn't need to be, like, perfect. In fact, we can even have a little bit of, like, a gap in between for uh, aesthetics. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the look of that, but <laughs> we'll change it at some point. It's fine. I think I've done raspberries. Didn't raspberries turn into... Uh... I guess I don't have them now? That, like, it looked like a baked peach or something. But, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it, it'll make jam. That would make sense. Let's make more linen. Yeah, poached fruit. I don't think we've gotten any other fruit than just raspberries. Vibrant necklace is good. Valuable necklace, sure. Favorite niece of mine. Alright, so what will this guy like? Shrimp cocktail? Go for it. The service on this ship is incredible! No, still hasn't, like, said that he likes something even more, but we'll see. And she can have some popcorn? Popcorn and coffee is all she can live on. How about a little snack? And she's a vegetarian. So, I mean, popcorn, grilled veggies. Favorite food, yeah. Hmm. Might be something later on that we don't know yet. Oh, and I can't set sail. Let's just go check the sawmill. Isn't he supposed to, like, teach me about this? Do ten, I guess. Oh God! Wait, what's happening? Oh, I have to like. I see. We have to redo it. Okay, I, I get it. I think. Yeah, he should probably uh, explain this. Did it just? It broke. I broke it, so I guess we can't use it for a while because I I messed up. Yeah, maybe he would have told me. If we waited until uh, morning. Oh, a word please, Stella? I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been very tired recently, and I'm afraid to say it's starting to weigh on my morale. 
I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house, as lovely as it is, might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped, especially since we fucking built a giant sawmill on top of it. Sorry. I hate to ask this of you, really, but could you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on the boat? I think it would help me tremendously. And then we could continue our lessons. But nothing too fancy. Just a place to sleep and meditate. With lush greenery, perhaps? Oh, and I'd be delighted if it had natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella, deeply. Summer Sanctuary. Laying at the ley line. I need to read these. Summer has tasked me with building her a house. I should ask around to find someone who could design it. Ah, so I can't even do it myself. Atul thinks my boat is empty without a sawmill. The more, the merrier. Yeah, so he'll teach me once I, once it's like morning. Huh? I can't build. Oh, because I'm pressing the wrong button. It's not A, it's X. Yeah, we just need oak planks. So if I talk to, uh, Atul... Didn't, didn't the other one, what is her name again? She had something, a nice face mask. I think she had something to say when... Yeah, okay, I think it's just, we should just go to bed. Yeah, it's just poached fruit from raspberries. Which doesn't really make sense, but, you know. We can cook sawdust? It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. It's not sand. What are you talking about? Sawdust is way better than sand. Let's cook some sawdust. It'll taste amazing. Yeah, let's let's just sleep instead of fishing. Eh, I really should fish, honestly. Like, there's probably more messages and stuff. We need to do some fishing, some good fishing. Again, there's, like, too much to do at this point, so I don't have time to do the, like, time-consuming things. Maybe you can get someone, a spirit, that, like, fishes for you over time. I don't know if there's some other, like, trick to this, or if it is just what I'm doing, just... soul, Just hold it until it's red, then let go, then hold it again until it's red. If there's, like, some rhythm to it, or if you avoid it getting to red, it'll reset quicker or something, I don't know. It seems to be working fine. Yeah, I have no idea what cooking sawdust is gonna do. I mean, I guess charcoal dust or something? It could, could make coal dust. Soot, maybe? I don't know. Oh, this one is fighting a lot. Cod. Yeah, it's new. Cod, a large fish. The cod has a cute little beard. Great. Nothing new. Oh, there's this linen thread. Linen strength makes it excellent for more demanding applications. I don't know how we make cloth and other stuff from that. Oh, it's just coal. So there's no reason to like cook, cook sawdust over just cooking logs. 
unless you can get more, I guess maybe you can get more sawdust per log if you do it well. Like you'll get more as a byproduct and planks if you do that mini game. then maybe it's worth doing instead of logs. I don't know, we'll see. I guess maybe let's just make some popcorn or something or more grilled fish. Yeah, let's just do that. And then I should make some more popcorn as well. Let's do coffee. Yeah, sawdust might be needed for something as well. So you definitely want to, like, keep some of it, probably. These are done, it seems. We might as well just sleep at this point. All right, we can set sail for Oh, this is something we're doing. Oh, Garena Fields. Maybe we should go there. Or I can swing by all these islands again. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go there. So let's go to the crates and then to Garena Fields. Alright, I'm just gonna not actually popcorn, but after that I might just like not cook anything because I don't really need anything. Yeah man, I, I really Need to, like, think about wrapping it up already, but I don't want to. I want to play more. We've hardly done anything. Oh, whoops. Running out of turnips. Alright, can we learn about sawdust? Sawmilling? No? Oh, right, he's probably sleeping, so I should wake them up again. Alright, let's leave that for now. Wake up and teach me how to use a sawmill, please. There we go. This looks amazing! Thank you for helping me out, Stella. The sawmill is so big. What a beauty. There's just one problem. Now, don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why they call it a favor. You see what I did there? What? Thanks again, Sprout. No, I don't see what you did there. You're doing it all wrong! Wow. Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are accurate. Stella, shut the fuck up. I'm doing sawmill stuff. Then you cut. Measure twice and cut. You just need to keep your saw blade steady and on the cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing a pinky or an arm, or something worse. And a hit from the old hammer for good luck. Give it a try now, you rascal. Okay. So I didn't see a measuring line that I need to go for before. So let, let's just do one just to see. Oh yeah. Oh god, can it please like not be that zoomed out? Yeah, so now I got planks and sawdust. Okay, so let's do a couple more. Like nine, I guess. Yeah. Can it zoom in, please? Oh, God. Yeah, this is kind of a hard minigame. 
Oh, Jesus, yeah, it's hard to not overshoot it. It's very hard not to overshoot it. Overshoot it. Yeah, I keep not getting the perfect yield. Oh, man. Yeah, that's gonna take some time. There we go. Nice. Hey, we should zoomed in. It's because of the, the quest thing, I think. Oh, crap. Damn, I missed one! Am I gonna get one less plank for that? No, okay. That, that actually, that was fine. Alright, what's happening? Can, can you wait a little bit? One second? Nice, copper ore. No turnips. I need turnip seeds. She's hungry as well. He's hungry. Uh, you can have some... Popcorn. Well, didn't, like, love it. She can have some popcorn. And hug you while you're eating. Alright, what's up? Stella, I've got to tell you. There's something I'd stumbled upon some time ago, and up until now it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as this sounds, it's not too far from here. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world, too. I must admit, I've been actively trying to avoid it. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore. As I've spent much time with it. As I've spent much time with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. I'll, I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added the location to your map. I'll be ready whenever you are. I see. Villa Magior. Got some fiber? Yes. Oh, one. Okay, so I guess they amass over time, like when I said no, I got six in the end, so maybe you don't want to just say yes, 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 yes to everything, and just let her stock up, and yeah, maybe she actually will make it into thread. We'll see. Alright, you can have... Maybe some poached fruit, or just a raspberry? Hmm. No, sorry, Sela. You know I can't eat fruit for the life of me. What? I've tried. You're you're like a deer. Why would you not eat fruit and berries? But I just can't. Okay, fair enough. I guess have some uh, have some grilled veggies. Thanks, I love it. Back to the past. Gwen wants to take a trip down memory lane, visiting her parents' house. The sawmill might not just spit out sawdust after this. Yeah. It says talk to a tool, but can't. Alright, never mind. Alright, let's head for this place. And there's Villa Magyar. Yeah, she doesn't like shellfish and fruit. Oh, now he's doing something. Would you look at that? You did great! You're ready to start cutting wood like a champ! Just rem remember to be careful with the sawmill. Don't go and mess around with dangerous saw blades. Just because you got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. Okay, now that's done. And what now? Sprout! You've been chopping it up at the sawmill. I like it. Getting the work done. Learn a new skill. Now that you've got some materials, maybe you could build me a house. Let me sketch something real quick. Look, it's nothing fancy. It's pretty basic, just a few hinges here. And a few nails in there. 
Oh, you've already got some materials to build me something nice. I'm not asking... Uh, I'm asking not only for me, but for the crew. Apparently I snore at night. Loudly, according to your friend Gwen. She's not even in, in that room anymore. But yeah. Otto's workshop. We need oak planks. So, o oak and maple are different planks. So, we can make this one, but we can't make her stuff. Oh, God. I hate this. This looks awful. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I guess we'll just put it here for now, and then I'll have to reorganize stuff once I can build this. Would you look at that? It's perfect, Sprout. It's massive. All this room for little, little one me? What? I can't wait to catch them, shut eye. There's... This is really great. Thank you so much. I won't forget this. Yeah. This has got a, a rock bed. Oh. Thunder? No? I thought it was like a thunderstorm coming. He sure is, uh, taking up a lot of my time. As you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. Your Aunt Viv would call it laser-focused tummy. Don't get me wrong. I s I'll still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I'd just like for you to put some effort into this one. I'll give you a shout when I get a craving. Hopefully I won't ask for anything too extreme. You never know with this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. Sure, but what do you want? Oh, there we go. Grenu fields discovered. What are those, like... Cotton trees, or... Cherry trees? Everyone's, like, taking turns playing music. Yeah, she's making them grow. And you don't want anything? No, he doesn't say anything. I guess have some fish? And yeah, okay. Uh, I guess, okay, let's check this, this place out as well, and then I might have to leave it after that. I'm assuming there's not going to be, like... I guess there would be something kind of major on this. It's not just going to be a tiny island with, like, nothing on it. Oh, a visitor! Welcome! Are you here for our world-renowned Furugawa tours? Of course you are! You're holding our brochure! The tour is about to start. It takes about five minutes and covers the history and, f and flora of this island. After, you'll be able to tell all your friends about it. Don't worry, there's no gift shop after this tour. Ready? Uh, no, not yet. But, yeah, I, I do want to do that. Well, okay, I guess we'll do the tour before I explore some more. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna actually take five minutes, but we'll see. Let's start right away. As you can see, this island doesn't get many visitors. People tend to focus on big city attractions. Here, it's peaceful and quiet. That's something you'll notice with the fauna. Rice patches and a healthy forest are its main attraction. Moving on. The tour is about to start. Yeah, so we'll just follow this. I'm giving a tour here! Over here! The rice production here is quite incredible. Workers harvest around the clock to feed local families. Right now, no one is around. I'm not sure why. I sometimes play in them. What? Oh, play in them when I'm off duty. But that's besides, uh, beside the point. Off to our next stop. Yo, run. Run, run, run. Can't, like, chop down these trees. Don't get too close! I can chop down these trees. 
You can feel the humidity. I mean, really feel it. This oak forest, there we go, gets to me. We have a connection. A strange connection. I tend to skip this part of the tour, to be honest. If we could move along, that would be great. Nope, I'm gonna chop down your trees. Or saw them down. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing something very, very bad. There we go. So now we can get the oak stuff for her, uh, her house. Look at all these trees. Who are you? I'll be picking up some wood. Oh, it's, uh, Atul. Hoping to do some work on these later. I'll be picking up some wood. Mushrooms. Speaking of which, this fortune tree is the centerpiece of this whole island. Cut it down. We are not sure of when it was first planted. People from all around would travel here and leave little messages. Anything to help with their lives. Alright. This concludes our tour. Wow. Furukawa Tours is grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you again for your presence. If you'd like to leave a tip, that would be appreciated. I recommended... I recommend something along the lines of 50 glims. Yes, that's amazing. I knew I struck a chord with you. I'll sign you up uh, to our... I'll, si I'll sign you up to our upcoming tours newsletter. You'll have an educational great time. Thank you for your kind spirit. Yeah, that wasn't even five minutes. More than... More than 15%? Really? Give for a Kava tours guide a tip. I see. <laughs> Maybe there's one for don't give, give a tip. I can't chop this down. Hi sheep. I need shears. Strawberries. Strawberries don't really grow on bushes like that, but sure. Maybe they do in, in the wild, I don't know. Oh, what's happening here? I guess I can't get up. We need something else. Yeah, I need a triple jump at this point. Maybe there's gonna be like a glide or something where you jump and hold the button to use your hat as a parachute. Look at all these trees! So yeah, I guess it'll say like sheep, mushrooms, and oak trees as things you can uh, you can get. Thank you for taking the tour. Don't forget to tell your friends. All right, goodbye. It's too dark. We can cook some mushrooms, but that might just be grilled veggies again. Because, I mean, the grilled veggies has mushrooms in the, like, icon. So maybe I'll save the mushroom, since those seem rarer. Alright, we can do one final thing. We can saw up some oak, oak planks and craft that final house, and then we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Just keep adding one more thing every time. The so oak logs. This oak, the oak tree is quite a large tree, and its wood is very strong and durable. Let's see if the sawmill will do the trick. It's worth more as well. Let's do, like, five of them? Uh, let's do a couple more. Let's do eight. And now I can actually see a little more. Oh god, this is so hard! This minigame is, is the hardest one by far. Oh god. There we go. 
it's really hard to stay on target. Because it's not very responsive either. You have to, like, lead it, kind of. Like, start before you think you need to move. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah. I wonder if you can, like, use the mouse for that or something. I don't imagine you can. It's probably just... A and or a W and S. Yeah, oak lines were like curvy. Maples cut straight. Yeah, we did did get some stuff. We'll see if I get better at that. Yeah, we have enough. It's pretty big though. Oh man, maybe I can't even fit it. Maybe I need to like change up some stuff. Or not even change up, but like, what's it called? Uh, upgrade the size. Hmm. I'm wasting like one row down here. Whoops. Could I? Like, can you have this one? Nah, I guess that doesn't fit either way. Hmm. Yeah, we can move that back. Or we can have the sawmill here. It's Diablo inventory management all over again. Yeah, that's too tall. Man, this is hard to fit everything in. Yeah, I, I feel like I just don't have enough space. We'll just have to, like, leave most of this, I think, for later. Like, this is without even adding the new building that I need. This, maybe? Can I fit that there? Maybe I can. Nope, it's too fucking tall. God damn it. Why is it so tall? Ah, oh, man. There's no way. Yeah, I just, I need a bigger boat. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any possible way I can fit this in. It, I just don't have the space. So, alright, we can't do this now, we have to wait. Now this is just a giant mess, but I guess I'll just kind of leave it. Well, this seemed to work okay. Yeah, whatever, this is fine for now. Because, yeah, this is still not... Wait, maybe I can move the kitchen. I forgot that was movable. Hold on, so if I do this... Uh, I still don't think there's any way... Oh, no! Yeah! Okay, the kitchen is, like, way out of the way, but that's fine. I don't really cook that often anyway. There we fucking go. God damn. Holy crap, that's a giant mess, but at least we did it. Yep. She didn't get any rocks, though, but there's, a uh, There's, like, greenery. Alright, get up and get in your house. Hey, come on. There we go. Oh, how wonderful. Incredible, Stella. Wood. Plants. There's even an all-natural room for meditation. You really outdid yourself. 
Oh well, I'll sleep in that hanging bed. Yes, I'll be back to full health in no time at all. And maybe... Listen, I have a favor to ask of you. It's become obvious to me that I need to take better care of myself. Let the body listen to the mind. To that end, I need clarity. I need power and energy. More power. Positive minerals are, oh god, are what I'm missing right now. Stones and crystals are connected to the world on an elementary level. Oh boy! Here we go, just as the moon is dark when hidden from the sun. Living beings wither when their telluric link is severed. So Stella, what do you say? Could you bring me some gems and minerals to fill up my cabinet? Three of them should be enough, and it won't be for nothing, you'll see. I can teach you, uh, teach all about the interesting properties of each one you bring to me. Wow. Hey Stella. You know me, I could always go for a little snack. Something salty, something buttery, something with flavor. Oh geez, you know what would be just perfect? Popcorn? A big old bag of popcorn all to myself. Just go ahead and heat up some corn. Yeah, sure. I, I have it. It's in my pocket. It's like six months old, but it's fine. We have some stuff to read as well. I'll probably do that next time. Where is it? Right here. Hmm, that really didn't fill me up. However, it did make me miss my kids a whole lot. I used to make bags of pop popcorn on movie nights for them. Even with the TV turned up, you couldn't hear the actors talking. The crunching was so loud. It was the only way to calm those little monsters down. Watching these terrible kids' movies. I wish I was still there. To see them laughing. For them to fall asleep on me. Thank you for this popcorn. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. It's fine. Nothing special. It reminds, me of my it reminds me of my first kitchen, in my terrible apartment. I didn't know what I was doing in there. I was so careless with the spices. Not enough salt. Oh my god, you talk a lot. Anyways, here's something, a little something to brighten this mess up. Don't worry, it's not a spice rack. You'll need to actually work for it, but it will be worth it. Just improve your kitchen with some extra oven space. Your kitchen will be looking just right in no time. So now we can improve stuff. Good lord. New improvements acquired. Kitchen upgrade. Holy crap, yeah. Okay, well, we'll look at that next time. Jesus Christ, leave me alone for one second! I can't- you can't stop playing this game. It doesn't let you. There's just things to do always. Oh man, I gotta go to bed. I should have gone to bed like half an hour ago. Oh man. Oh man. Just quickly water. No, no, you were not. Oh, God damn it. When the dragon found me back home, I knew I didn't want to talk. I wanted to go in. I knew I had to leave. I felt I wouldn't heal unless I left. I didn't know it then, but I needed love. And no love was to be found in this accursed place. But in my exile, I met your aunt. I had never seen anyone as joyful as Rose. Filled to the brim with uncontainable life. You remind me a lot of her, Stella. She nursed me back to health, little by little. Without her, well, the dragon would have taken me. Right there, I'm sure of it. And I never would have met you. She taught me, not as one normally teaches, but by opening my eyes to what was already within. To the rich interior life, unquashed... Unquashed by the dragon. Unquashed by my father. I don't know what that word is. To the interconnectedness of all things. To universal love. This immense debt I owe her. Well, maybe that's why I feel the need to teach you. Great! Stella, my stomach! Oh my god! <sighs> Jesus Christ. Uh, have some poached fruit. Another treat! And, and, and just these as well. And just these. Uh, you can get citrine. Oh, is that a piece of citrine? Did you know that citrine promoted motivation and activated creativity? I've also heard that it encourages self-expression and enhances concentration. A true mind revitalizer and emotions balancing stone. L let's do this. Might as well do this. Quartz. Nope. Also, oh, those don't count as gems, I suppose. Limestone. No. In-inhibited. Or do you mean just inhibited? Because in-inhibited, I guess you can't just say inhibited. <laughs> Plank of oak, always strong and sturdy. 
Yeah, I guess we don't have any other gems available. Yeah, not really, unless unless you want these. Okay, that's it. There we go. I'm, I'm leaving it there. I'm not talking to anyone else. We have to leave it off. Good lord. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to play more of this this weekend. I don't know if tomorrow or on Sunday or maybe both. We'll, we'll have to see what I feel like. Oh my god, wait, 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 there's so many. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This game is too chaotic. Like, there's too much to do all the time. It's hard to put down, hard to like settle on doing one thing. There's so many places I need to visit, so many things I need to do. Build, re rebuild, upgrade, improve, all that stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good night.